And as if by magic, I'm back. For the observant among you, you will have noticed that I've been missing for the last couple of weeks. About three weeks, I think, since I last put a video out. But I'll come to that in a minute. We're going to get on with some important jobs today. We've got the tomatoes to get on the go. I'm a little bit later than last year. But again, there's a reason for that. So we'll come to that in a minute. But whilst I've been away, everything's going okay. Look, let's have a quick look. Look. The little onions, these are the red barons, we'll have a look there, looking good down here in the greenhouse. What else have we got on the go? The sweet peas are going nice and strong, in fact they're probably going to have to go out soon. We've got lots of other stuff on the go, what have we got going on here? We've got some little cauliflowers on the go, there's leeks, there's marigolds, there's all sorts of stuff. There's some little beetroots over here, some multi sown beetroots that... They've just been in the greenhouse and they have sown quite nicely over here. They've all been multi-sown. And what else have I got left to show you? The experiment of the spring onions in the pot is going pretty well in the colder weather. They looked a bit sketchy. I was a bit worried about them, but they're looking good. Anyway, get set up over here and we'll get on with some tomatoes. So a quick couple of things to mention just before we properly get started here. So we're going for this dual camera setup again when we're doing the seeds. Seemed to go down quite well the last time. So we've got one at the side here that'll film me. And I've got one sort of down here that's going to film everything that's going on as I'm going on, as we're having a bit of a chat. So no, no sort of secret method to doing the tomatoes or anything like that. We've got the little sort of quarter size seed tray the compost i've got here so the good old melcourt silver girl that's my fa favorite one for doing seeds and it's generally the best quality i've not sieved it i do normally sieve compost but you know what i just i just couldn't be bothered i couldn't be bothered sieving all the compost and because the melcourt one is good quality you know generally there's no big massive lumps and bumps and stuff in it it's usually all right but i've got most things prepared, it's been mixed in with a bit of perlite. There's, I don't know, a good few handfuls in there. I don't do exact percentages in terms of the perlite and whatnot. There's maybe a, a third perlite to two thirds compost or thereabouts. But the first tomato seed we are sowing today, we've got Tim's Taste of Paradise and a big shout out as ever to Steve from the Digwell Greenfingers channel for giving us these seeds. He's telling me that these are better than my favourite some gold, but we'll see, we'll see. I'll be the the judge of that and we'll get we'll get a few of these on the go. I'm gonna save some of them again, save some for next year, but I always end up sowing more than I need because if we have problems, if things don't quite work out, then we've got plenty of spares ready to use if some of them just fail or don't do quite so well. And I'm so I'm so prepared that I've even got little tags and things. Look, they're already written and they're already done in the little pile down here. So I just need to find my Tim's Taste of Paradise one on there. I will water these at the end, by the way. They'll get a good soaking before that. And then we'll just pop the little lids on there and that'll be just the job. And then they will go into the house and they will go into the Super 7 heated propagator. And that is generally marvelous for the tomatoes. But, where have I been for the last few weeks? Anyway, I've been having a bit of a time off YouTube. Just some time off. Just some uh, some time to myself, some time away from filming. I've sp still been doing bits and pieces around and about the greenhouse and in the garden. I've not really been to the allotment. I mean, the, 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 the weather has it's been horrendous. It has been awful, honestly. You wouldn't believe it that it is lovely here today. But it has not stopped raining i think in the three weeks that i've uh, that i've been away that i've not done a video for i'm pretty sure it has rained pretty much every day and sorry just while we're doing this this tomato here there we go this is alice's dream and i found them on a website called tomato revolution that's a new one to me so i've given them a try but i'm using the same technique for all of them and there's a little tip don't empty your seed packet out over your tray here with the compost in because the little tomato seeds fall into it. There it is there. Will fall into it if you miss your hand. And then you scoop the compost up, you put it in the next tray and all your varieties of tomatoes will be mixed up. Yes, so, sorry, I've got off on a few different tangents there talking about different things. I'll, I'll come back to them, I promise. So, where have I been? Yeah, just having some time off YouTube. And there, what, what was the reason for that? So I think at the start of the year, sort of after Christmas, I sort of 
made a bit of a promise to myself that I was going to put loads of time, loads of effort into this whole YouTube palaver sort of thing. And I did, and if you'd seen it, I've been putting out around about two videos a week since Christmas. And it just, it was just too much in the end. There was, there was, it really sort of took it out of us and I just sort of, I did like the sort of hyper-focused thing, getting it all done. And honestly, you, you guys just see the, the, the finished product there of me sort of on the video there. By the time you've done the film and you've done the edit and you've done the thumbnails, you've uploaded it, you've done the descriptions, the titles, the tags, the everything else, it actually takes quite a lot. It's a quite a lot of effort. And to churn out two videos a week, working full-time, school-age family, different interests as well, different stuff. It was just too much and it just came to a head. And I was like, no, stop, take a break. It almost, it, it felt like a job. It felt like a second job. And when all the fun had been sort of sucked out of it and the sort of enjoyment of doing it, I knew I needed just to take a bit of a break, take a step back, take some time away from it. And I was, and I was close, honestly, I was really, really close to not starting this again. I was very very close to jacking it in and you might notice that there's probably some some dodgy audio today that's because i've i've sold my microphone i was like i'm giving up on this i'm not doing it i've sold my microphone but i've got a new one a better one a different one coming and it, it's actually getting delivered today but it's not delivered in time for me making this video so you will get this video with poor quality sound but i promise the ones after this one will have better sound in them but yeah, it was just a bit much. I'd set up a Patreon and things like that. And I've got I've got one Patreon. Honestly, bless you, Joe. Joe, who's on there by himself, is the sole Patreon. And I thought, you know what? We'll give a real good go. And it was just a bit disheartening. And I was a bit grumpy. And I was a bit fed up. And I thought, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. And you know what? In, in, terms of, in terms of YouTube timing in videos and stuff like that, I couldn't have picked a worse time because... You know, we, we can all, all us people who do YouTube, you can see the statistics in the background. You get loads of information, loads of data, loads of stats from YouTube, and it tells you all sorts of different stuff. And I can see that, you know, I've got a spider, sorry, I've got a spider hanging from my glasses. Let me just, uh, let me just unspider myself for a moment. And you can see that this time of year, as you'd expect, sort of springtime when things are coming to life a little bit and everybody's looking to sow stuff and plant stuff and get stuff on the go it's when everything picks up you know the the videos get more views the channel gets busier there's there's lots more sort of stuff going on and it's great to see things ticking up and i stopped and i stopped just to the time that sort of happened so it's probably i, I don't know but it maybe it's just tells you maybe it just gives you a little bit of an insight into just how fed up i was with it all you know just sort of just sort of stopped, just sort of gave up. You know what, it's done me the world good. I was I was away there over Easter. We had a bit of a break away. I was staying in a place called Inverkip, which is on the west coast of Scotland. It is beautiful in that area of the country. Honestly, it is fantastic out there. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful part of the world. There's lovely little towns and villages along there. A place called Weems Bay, a place called Largs. We got on the ferry over to Rossi and whatnot, and it was lovely. What a brilliant time. And the Saturday, Sunday, honestly, Easter, Saturday and Sunday, probably the best of the weather we've had around here recently. Apart from apart from maybe today, where it's okay today, but honestly, the rain, other than that, the rain has been absolutely awful. It has not stopped raining. And... So my friends that I'm speaking to, I like, I like playing golf as well. So every now and again, I like to, to have a game of golf. I'm not very good at golf. I'm a bit rubbish. I'm not very good, but I like to have the odd game. And, you know, the, all the golf courses are closed. Nobody can get out. Nobody can play. Everything's flooded. Everything's wet. And we've got more weather, more bad weather forecast this weekend. There's more rain. There's more wind. We're back up to the 50 mile an hour winds this weekend. I mean, it's been at least a week since we've had the 50 mile an hour winds, so I might as well have them back. It was Storm something or the Kathleen or something or some, something I saw. Some named Storm that's come this weekend. Yeah, anyway, just to just cheer us all up. And I think the uh, half the problem is that, you know, even though like, like today and like Saturday and Sunday, there's a little bit of a break in the weather. There's a little bit of time, a little bit of break, you know. But it's not long enough to dry anything up 
everything the ground everything is so wet it is so damp it is awful everywhere and i'm fed up of it i'm sick of it like i say because i've been having a bit of a a break from from all this sort of youtube allotment -y sort of stuff i've not been to the allotment probably now i reckon it's been three weeks since i've been there since i since i last did a video there i've always seen once or twice since i last did a video there but i just sort of need that break away from i've not been up and i've not been up because there's not really anything i can do because it is so blooming wet everywhere and i've just realized that i'm not actually telling you what seeds i'm sowing is so the ones the ones that i've done so far just to bring you back up to date we've got the the tim's taste of paradise that we've already done in the alice's stream the other two that i've done since then are the brandy wine pink and san marzano well, that's the other two that we've done so far and i'm looking you know how earlier on as well i said oh i'm dead prepared i've got all my all my stuff all my labels written out black strawberry I've got myself on, but look, I haven't got, I can't see my pink brandy wine, brandy wine pink. I've done that. What have I just San Marzano? Oh, I'm all muddled up. Hold on. Right. Black strawberry, I think that one was. Is that a black strawberry? Let me see. Yes, they're the ones I've just done. Black strawberry. So I am, I'm missing a label somewhere. That's why I'm all a bit, all a bit muddled up. Too much, too much chatting to the camera. Not enough concentrating on seeds, but they're the ones I've done so far. I've got another two tubs left. I've got all my trays laid out, so I know I've got another two seed trays to do. So I know how many I've got and how many I need to do. So what are we doing next? What have we got here? Enough of the weather. Let's stop moaning about the weather. It's rubbish and it's going to be rubbish for the next two or three weeks at least. But next up on the list is we've got some Brad's Atomic Grape and I think that's going to be about the last of this packet is it will i get away let me see i might just keep some of these one two three four five there's half a dozen left there and there's another two in the packet so that's eight there for next year and like i was saying earlier on before i got distracted i always sow more than i need i always do much more and like i said if, if some of the the plants fail and, and last year i had a bit of a a bit of a torrid time with tomatoes last year. I had some issues with overwatering that caused problems with fungus gnats in turn, and there was all sorts of issues with them. And anybody who's done ones like these ones we're doing at the moment, the uh, the Brad's Atomic Grape, they grow. They're really small and spindly and, and, and sort of wiry to begin with until they become established. And there was problems, and the fungus gnats got in and ate them. Oh man, what a pain! And I got in a right pickle. So this year. You know, again, like I said, so more than I need, like, like I normally do, I normally do that. But this year, I'm probably, even though I've had a break, I'm a couple of weeks, probably a week or two weeks, I'm looking for my Sun Gold label, by the way. I've lost the label for the one that tells me it's Sun Gold. But if I've only lost one label, that's not the worst thing in the world because I can just write a new one out and at least I know which one it is that I need. And I've got a spare label over there. And I, I actually used... I'm pointing over there. You probably can't see it on this camera and you probably can't see it on this camera, but it's over there. And I used, actually that, that label's there. It's a, it's a plastic one. And I used it, I used it earlier on this morning. I was down here checking the greenhouse and I've had a bit of an issue with slugs in the greenhouse recently, which has been annoying me as well. So I sort of sc scooped the slugs up on the label and I flicked the label like that and it made a brilliant sort of, slug catapult to get rid of the slugs over the wall at the back there and it's don't worry there's no neighbors back there that's not there's nothing out the back of us um there's no i'm not like sort of firing these into the neighbor's garden or, or nothing like that and this is the the sun gold there so we'll if there's no if there's no slug slime on it i'll write a new label out and we'll and we'll use that but this is the last of the sort of quarter size seed trays there we're doing with the tomatoes and again there's no secret method to it three quarters full of compost sprinkle the seeds in top it up with compost on top job done lovely little seed trays and again i've done seven varieties seven little trays they'll go on the super seven they'll get heated up and hopefully they'll germinate and there we have it we've got our seven little seed trays all set up there with our tomato seeds in including this one here with the sun gold label in it I say label, we'll call it a slugapult, a slugapult, a label, 
multifunctional and it does the job and you might be able to see the other camera here the side we have it set up in the greenhouse this is a side on camera and then this camera that I'm now filming into is the one that I use on the side of the tray here that films everything that's going on. Hopefully that format works. If you like that format, let me know in the comments down below and we'll keep doing it in the future. I feel it, because I've had that break, I feel like I'm a little bit behind it, but I'm okay with that. I'm coming to terms with being okay, with being behind. I'm not really behind. Everything catches up. You know yourself, if you're late sewing something, there's more light, there's more heat, everything like that later in the year everything catches up eventually and we'll get there but there's loads more to come but thank you for watching today and i'll see you on the next one bye for now folks